Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. We will understand the conditional statement in this lecture and the most common and interesting additional statement is if else right. We have used uh, if else everywhere right in Excel in any programming language everywhere we are using if else or any kind of other conditional statement right. So let's do one thing what we can do we can remove this for each which we are using for previous lecture and I will write my conditional statement by using if you can see this is the function and uh, first of all we need to understand the parameters first is condition whatever the condition will be and if this condition is true it will get inside this second parameter value if true and if not it will get inside the third parameter which is value if false so for example I will directly pass true true is a function right it's a boolean function and uh, if this will be true I will get this string as true one and if this is not a true then I will get a string as false two and if I try to test it you can see I'm getting true one because I'm already passing this true function boolean and uh, this is getting inside this true one right so instead of using this let me put some condition so what I will do I will check if the number if local bank one local bank 1 is greater than 12 right so let's see what I will get and if I'll try to see this you can see I'm getting inside the false condition because it's not greater than it's equal to 12 that's why I'm getting inside this false condition and uh, similarly if I'll try to use like this greater than and equals to then you can see I'm getting inside the true because this is equals to right so whatever will be the condition irrespective of the condition it will work accordingly and I can use anything here right now I'm using only local variables I can use rule input CDTs or whatever it will be the scenario right I can put it and I can run this if else statement right and also if I wanted to check the visibility of something some object right or uh, some design object I can use this if else at that place also so in interfaces uh, in process models we'll be using this if else condition at various different places. So that's all about the conditional if else. That's all for this video.